In this video we will demonstrate a mud pump drilling setup that the do-it-yourself driller may find useful. It will employ a portable mud pit. A mud pit is used in drilling so the drilling fluid can be recirculated and reused. The cuttings from the bottom of the hole are carried by the drilling fluid to the mud pit where they settle to the bottom so they can be shoveled out. A portable mud pit eliminates the need to dig mud pits at the well site. An essential element of the portable mud pit setup is the guide tube that directs cuttings to the pit. Prior to beginning the drilling process, the guide tube must be put into the ground. Real drillers use massive, heavy machines to simply push a metal guide tube into the ground. We obviously don't have that luxury. So, prior to the beginning of the drilling process, we will be working a guide tube into the ground using water from a hose to evacuate cuttings from the hole. This is a bit of a tedious process, so I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. There, that ought to do it. Now let's get the pieces and parts we'll need for drilling. We need a mud pump, hoses, gasoline, a portable mud pit, and fittings for the suction hose and the water line. Here we install the fitting for the suction hose. The fitting for the water supply line has a valve so we can turn the water off and on. We'll need several pieces of 2 inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe as well as 2 inch couplings. This is the drill bit we'll be using. It allows water to flow out the bottom to wash cuttings back up to the top. We'll need a handle to rotate the drill pipe. This is the drill head. It attaches to the top of the drill pipe. We need a screwdriver, preferably an electric one. This 4 inch Schedule 40 PVC T attaches to the top of the vertical guide tube. This is the horizontal guide tube. We need PVC primer and cement. First we'll install the PVC T and the horizontal guide tube that will direct the cuttings over to the portable mud pit. We need to fill the portable mud pit with water. This is a screen to keep rocks and other large cuttings from being recirculated. Here we're connecting the portable mud pit to the mud pump with the suction hose. Attach the handle to the drill pipe and put the drill pipe in the vertical guide tube. Attach the drill head.
and connect the water supply line to the drill head. Start the pump. Sometimes it takes a little while to get the water flowing. You may have to prime it first. The drilling fluid is pumped down the drill pipe where it carries cuttings from the bottom back up to the top. It is then directed over to the portable mud pit. From the portable mud pit it is pulled through the green suction hose over to the mud pump. The drilling fluid is then pumped through the yellow supply hose up to the top of the drill pipe where the process begins again. Cuttings settle out in the bottom of the mud pit where they can be shoveled out. It will be necessary to add sticks of PVC as you drill. I like to use 5 foot lengths when I'm drilling by myself and 10 foot sticks when I have help. Be sure and use primer prior to gluing. You kind of got to work the handle over the coupling to uh, raise it up. It's a good idea to insert the vertical guide tube in the ground several days prior to drilling and give the ground and sand time to collapse around it. If you don't, you might have a leakage like I do here. You'll definitely want to use bentonite in your drilling process. It hardens the sandy walls of the hole so they don't collapse on your drill pipe. This allows you to drill much deeper. Mix the bentonite in a separate container and be sure to add the bentonite as you are mixing. Then just pour the bentonite mix in with your drilling fluid. All this helps the drilling process immensely, but be aware the drilling is still going to be slow because you are the drill motor. When you quit for the day, it's a good idea to pull your drill pipe out. Here, I've drilled to 24 feet 
and I'm stopping for the day. With the use of a recirculating drilling fluid system that includes a mud pump, bentonite, a metal drill bit, and a mud pit, two inch diameter well depths of 50 to 60 feet are routinely achievable. For more information on how you can drill your own well, go to www.drillyourownwell.com. Thanks for watching.